Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your next 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this. Let's see what's coming in for you Aquarius for the next 72 hours. What is the situation that Aquarius will be dealing with? Okay, we've got the judgment. All right, so you're going to have to make some decision here. Something is coming back around from, uh, for you. The universe is bringing something back around. Maybe even a test here for some of you. Uh, are you going to call, or are you going to have to, or make the right judgment call here, okay? In terms of a relationship, partnership, something that you used to be in, something that maybe you laid it to rest, are you coming back together? Are you going to forgive, heal, move on together or apart? What judgment will you make? It looks like somebody, um, maybe the universe wants you to make a snap decision about this. Not toil about it too long and think it over and put yourself in a place of overthinking. But they want you to be firm, definite, uh, firm and definite in your decision here. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Uh, someone could be trying to resonate in your energy also if they don't come back in the physical it's coming back up for you uh in your energy okay it's coming back up for you yeah definitely in your energy uh in your mind in your heart you're thinking of, about this person you gotta make some judgment call about this uh situation this relationship okay let's see what the advice is for you aquarius the knave of cups all right so the advice for is for you to, um, this card speaks of, of a lot about uh, being more romantic, okay? Uh, being more emotionally uh, stable and mature, says the Page of Cups. Also, it says that news about business, good news about business is coming to you, right? Um, with the Knave of Cups here. But the page of cups here it says that a happy surprise is coming to you as the advice. The advice is to be compassionate, be rational, be emotionally matured, stable. But do what is best for you. Don't romanticize a situation that just didn't work out in your favor. Don't overlook the bad just because there is a bit of good what's the outcome here what's the outcome for the Aquarius yeah the ace of swords so it looks like there's going to be some conflict before you actually have some resolution some victory here you're going to see things exactly how for how they are you're going to be very clear about how things are with the ace of swords coming out it looks as if you're going to make some irrevocable changes, something where you just can't go back on. Maybe you're going to say something, you're going to do something, or you're going to come to the mindset of being clear in your thoughts, and you're just going to really tear down that old regimen or that old regime of thinking, start anew, um, really cut somebody out, again, out of your heart, out of your mind space, because it looks like if someone doesn't resonate in the physical, they're trying to resonate um in, in your mind, in your heart, and it, it looks like you're going to be very firm in terms of, I'm not going to play with that energy. I'm really going to grieve it, grieve this, the ending, and move on here. What is the Ace of Swords? Is the outcome for the Aquarius? Yeah, the Ten of Cups here. Uh, you understand that. Uh, you, you might even call a truce, maybe in in a situation. Um, let bygones be bygones. Um, put your swords down uh, it could be a truce in a family also you want to understand that something is just uh, it can't be realized but it is they are just emotions okay um, they come and they go they're whimsical says the ace of swords and the ten of cups you're going to understand that maybe with some masculine energy maybe the illusion or yeah the illusion that they created or, or whatever you guys were creating between each other, you're going to realize that it was fake. It was false. It wasn't real. It was very imaginary. It was very um, emotional. Okay. 
uh, but there, there was no concrete. Uh, there was no foundation. There was no concrete laid. There was nothing here. It was just maybe a feeling. This person made you feel like you fill in the blank. Like you had something real, you had something true. You're finally going to come to determination that, yeah, this is over. That They could have been non-committal. They're still watching you. Okay, they want to come back to you. This person is definitely watching you. Um, you both are very different, but you tried to come together because you thought that you both wanted the same outcome. And maybe you did. It's just that you're so different. You go about life so differently that it caused friction. Also, someone who's apart from you is thinking heavily about you. Think, you know, they could have lied to themselves to themselves about how they felt about you with the seven of cups they're fantasizing about you the king of pentacles wanting to be your husband or your wife or wanting to have some, some solid relationship with you wanting to start anew it seems as if there's a lot of starting anew this person is trying to manifest you back they desire you heavily they want to salvage this connection they miss you they feel like with you go, being gone, something has gone out of their life. But they were like the king of swords. They don't have any feelings. They just think. And they're very strategic and methodical in their thoughts, calculated. They feel like they have to be that way with you or vice versa. This is how you feel. Maybe this person feel, felt this way about you because now they feel like they owe you an apology or they feel like they need to pay off some debt with you maybe even a physical debt maybe they owe you money if they don't owe you money then they definitely want to apologize do the right thing by you again pay off karmic debt with you or but they feel like they've missed the opportunity the window of opportunity to talk to you to be back with you to do something with you they feel like this is truly the end they're hoping and wishing for another opportunity but again they feel like they're not enough or they don't have enough or they could be you know without um they feel like there's no confidence in this relationship moving forward they feel like maybe aquarius you're on a new journey you have switched or changed course that maybe you're going to find somebody else or you've already found some someone else or someone found you Again, they try to masquerade around like they just don't care. Like they aren't watching you. But they want to come in with like a destructive type of influence and have all of your attention on them. All eyes on you. All eyes on them. All attention on them. They feel like they're working hard to get your attention. And they could really feel like this is the end. Like, this is too much. You could have felt like this was a toxic, burdensome connection that was going nowhere fast. It did not have, you guys did not have an end game in mind. It was just a lot of doing. This person really loves you. They have a lot of likeness for you. Whatever love, however they define love, they have that for you. Whatever that may mean. But they don't show you. They're scared to show you. Their love can come off as confrontational, combative, possessive, controlling, and egotistical. Instead of this person being accurate in communication, maybe even in argument, they just rather be right. They want the upper hand, but they're definitely heartbroken because you chose to sacrifice this connection or they sacrifice the connection. There is separation here. Someone is going through maybe even the dark night of the soul, coming to some self-discovery type of energy, looking at past experience and trying to figure out what they can do now or in the future to get the outcomes that they want. Wow. As I say, dark night of the soul, we got the nine of swords showing up. This person is like, I don't know if this is truly the end. I'm not sure. They're replaying thoughts. They're replaying conversations you had. They think 
maybe this ending is temporary. Like you just need space and time to think. And then you guys will come back together. They understand your worth and they might be a little concerned about you understanding how much you're worth. And if you actually understood how much you are worth or your worth, you wouldn't want them back. There's a lot of jealousy and maybe even envy from stemming from this person that maybe that you didn't even know about. There's just a lot of backbiting. There's a, a, a high level of bad blood between the two of you, maybe because of words spoken or unspoken or actions taken. I don't know. It might just be because you decided to choose yourself change your fate your fortune you understood that maybe you met this person for a reason they could be a soul mate twin flame i don't know you know whatever but you do understand that this person just isn't at a place where they can give you what you need there's a, a level of inadequacy hmm. This person is a hopeless romantic and they just want to get back into that romantic phase with you. They don't want anything real, true, honest. They're incapable of giving that. This person may have a lot of women. Yeah, a lot of women around them or a lot of women that they keep. I hear keep score, keep in score. I don't know, whatever. They can have a lot of women that they deal with. A lot of women around them but they feel like in their heart they're committed to you but you have the question of how is that so when you have so many women around you and you do partake in communication and maybe even other other things with these women or these men but there's an energy of some this is women there's an energy of a a man having a lot of women around him but it feels like he's committed to you you don't see it that way you've been through too much in this relationship or just in relationships in general to where you have no problem cutting out what doesn't serve you what isn't bringing value to your life because you understand hell you are a walking garden you you make shit happen. You make shit grow. You you got this. You have no problem severing ties, cutting connections that are not transforming, that are stagnant. This could have been a cycle that you had with somebody. Yeah, you guys cycle in and out of each other's life. There were so many false starts and breakups and makeups and let's get back together. But it looks like maybe Aquarius, you finally come into a place of understanding that in order to have what it is you really want and whatever that is, I don't know, you, you define that, but you've got to let this go. You have to rationalize letting this go. You can't want to be married, children, white picket fence while still holding on to the F boy or the F girl and telling the universe, oh, as soon as you bring me that marriage material minded person I'm going to let the F boy or the F girl go it doesn't work like that therefore some of you are just going to say you know what I'm just going to start the process of getting over hurt from previous relationships and I'm going to rationalize this moving on it may also you may also feel defeated maybe you put too much energy gave this shit too much power so now you feel defeated and that's okay Looks like you're going to start something for you, maybe even, even a makeover or do something or get out there. Just throw your hat in the ring here. Yeah, something about manifestation, law of attraction. Be what you want to come in your life. Be who you want to come into your life. This person still feels like there's hope. And maybe even you feel like it's hope, Aquarius. 
they've given up agency in terms of, oh, I can change this. No, they know that they can't. They're waiting for you to come and rescue them from this mental prison. Like you've always, like you always have before, you know? Some of you feel like you're stuck with family, family that just doesn't like you or you don't like them. Some of you are dealing with somebody who is married or has a family, but they want you as a third person, yeah. They may even travel to you. They've got you on some type of pedestal here. But they also have something or someone else that they give to. But they've got you high, high up in their thoughts. Um, high honor. You know? Somebody's waiting for you to come back around. They feel like they've put too much energy effort into this. And it's like, I desire you. I want you. I need you. They may even walk back towards you if you don't come back soon. Some things have been illuminated to you, Aquarius, that about your emotions. Maybe even your shadow side. I was getting ready to say that. Yeah. This person triggered something about you or in you. Something you don't like to bring out, but you have to deal with. Also, this is also a, a sum total of your choices. Because toxic, burdensome, karmic situations can be avoided by way of your choice. We've got the devil showing up. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or it just could be, again, the sum total of your choices. Devil energy isn't just lurking in the shadows waiting for someone to walk by and then they jump on the person's back and just ride them no these are choices that you make and he, it's temptation it's when you don't listen to your intuition your higher self is always speaking to you and when you don't listen to your intuition you get involved or your or your your first mind, that first thought, if that, if when you met a particular person, you got all kind of red flags, but yet and still you gave it a chance, whose fault is that? So yeah, something's being illuminated to you about choices and, and, and the choices you make, the standards you either don't have or the sta and the standards you need to get. Yep. Better choices. You got the devil coming up and then the lovers right after it. Better choices in love. It looks like you chose to deal with somebody who just didn't have what you needed. They couldn't ever give you what you needed. They can't give you what they don't possess. And I'm not talking about money or material things. Maybe that is what you were looking for also, but we won't go there. We'll just keep it base and say this person couldn't give you love. And they didn't give you love because they don't possess it. They do not have it for themselves. They hide behind a mask of materialistic things. Reputation. Worldly achievements. But deep inside, they need to do a lot of work on themselves. I think for some of you, you're finally getting the lesson. You're beating yourself up about how every relationship, maybe within the last 10 years, for some of you, maybe even 20 years, had turned out the same way. But it's because you kept meeting the same person, different face, same person. Because you didn't learn the lesson from the last person. So it just came back to you again or she just came back to you again but it looks like some of you are finally getting a lesson learning the lesson and the lesson is not for the other person and it could be but it's their lesson but this lesson is for you and the choices you make it looks like you get this whole complex about you that 
you understand there's something special, unique, innate in you that you want to share with people who just aren't valuable enough to share with. They I heard debased shit. Debased in their heart, in their mind. You can't share with them. They can't go with you. In your good nature and your people loving, friend loving, friendly type of energy. Wanted to take this person with you in spirit. I think you wanted to take all of these different people with you. You just couldn't. You got to learn the lesson. When you see a red flag, it is a red flag. That is what it is. Go the other way. When you see the red stop sign or stop light, you stop, right? You don't just keep going. That's how you have to run your life. And that's how you have to run your romantic life, your dating scene. If you see the red flag, you stop. You don't go through it. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. I want to extend this to see what is coming for you guys. Um, do I want to extend this? No. I don't know. This was more like a, a teaching, a learning lesson for you, Aquarius. You know, like, look. Spirit wants to really bless you with true love, but you don't love yourself enough to walk away from situations that will leave you devalued, maybe even debased here. Um, memories keep swirling in your head and in this other person's head, decisions. This person knows that the decision for them to come back to you is on you. They don't make the decision this time. They don't have the power. Grief work. Yeah. Look, you can have memories of a person, and that's fine. We're human beings. We're not robots. All right? Um, but let it be just that. A memory, and you move on. Do the work, the grief work. Cry, scream, kick, stay in bed for a day. I don't know whatever it is you need to do go talk to counselor therapist but grieve when something leaves your life it has to you know when something leaves your life there's a void so then you have to fill that void so the question is what are you going to fill that void with because you want to everybody wants to fill the void so that's when you have to do the grief work here okay Aquarius let's see what else we got going on relationship dynamics yes yeah, so this is definitely about a relationship somebody feels differently in terms of the relationship somebody else has entered a connection therefore making the dynamic different maybe you started as started off as two now it's three or it's four the dynamic of the relationship is different here all right let's see last one new career very nice all right you have a new career coming into you, Aquarius, or this is what you should be focused on. Um, this will bring you a lot of enjoyment. Wow, okay, at the bottom of the deck, spiritual growth. Very nice. So back to that lesson that you needed to learn. That was what that's about, that spiritual growth. Learn the lesson of uh, choices, you know. The choices you make, you have to deal with. Grow from them, from the bad choices, move on. If you find yourself stuck making the same choices over and over again, then that is insanity. And you might want to stop being insane. I don't know. Maybe you don't. All right, Aquarius. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care. All links are below if you want to get your own personal reading. Thank you again. Bye for now.